Hello, my friends. Welcome to Wealth Talk. I'm so excited that you connected with us here today. I want to ask you a question. Do you feel like you have some really big dreams for your future, but you feel like you're stuck in the present? Hey, if that's you, I want you to stay tuned for this Wealth Talk today. We're going to talk about what keeps you stuck. What is the invisible glass ceiling over your life, over your business, over your ministry that's keeping you from breaking through to that next level of achievement that you want to achieve in your life. So I'm so excited that you joined with me. Please like, please share, please comment down below. We love, love, love to hear from you uh, as you connect up with us and as you join. And by all means, don't forget that I'm doing something really special. Uh, we're having another Be Confident Challenge. So if you go to BeConfidentChallenge.com, you're seeing me starting to post a lot about it. It's a five-day experience where I help you boost your confidence to an all-time high so that you can crush what I call your FUD, your fears, your uncertainty, and your self-doubt. So go on over to BeConfidentChallenge.com, get signed up. Uh, we have two levels uh, for this event. Level one is general mission where you can get in for free for the first hundred people. And level two is my VIP experience where, where I have a lot of special tools that I'm going to be giving you to help you. We also have a special time where I do personal coaching after the training. And we also have a time of question and answer. So that's going to be a phenomenal I, I recommend that you invest in yourself and take the VIP experience. Hey, this is Wealth Talk, right? <laughs> Go VIP in everything you do. You deserve it. And the best investment that you can ever make is number one in yourself. People ask me that all the time. They say, they say man, I, what, what should I invest in? What should I, what, what, what should I do? I'm always very clear with every single person. Number one, you invest in yourself. That's the best return on your ROI that you'll ever receive. It's actually proven that those who invest in personal development, for every dollar you spend, you get back $100. It's just been proven. So invest in you. When's the last time you invested in you? The second greatest investment is when you take the money that you earn and you invest it in your business. Invest it in your business. And then the third thing is invest your money in asset producing opportunities that generate you money where your money is actually working for you. So thank you for connecting with us. Again, I'm going to ask you this question. Do you have some big dreams for your future, but you feel like you're stuck in the present. Hey, I know exactly how you feel. I've felt the same way before. I, I've been where you are. Like there's an internal knowing inside of your heart that says, man, I was created for more. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be more. I'm supposed to do more. I'm I'm supposed to have more. I'm supposed to be helping more people in my life. And yet you're like, how do I break free? It's like I take five steps forward. I go five steps back and I never can break through into that next level. And so I was, I was there. I was there years and years ago. I, I wanted to travel the world and speak to thousands of people. I, I wanted to be a best-selling author. I wanted to be a millionaire. I mean, I wanted to live in a nice big house. I wanted to drive nice and fast cars. <laughs> I love fast. I, I want to make a difference in, in people's lives. I mean, no greater thing in my, in my mind as being able to say something, write something, that changes somebody else's life and makes their life better. I wanted to make a difference. But I was hitting this invisible wall and I was tired, I was wore out. I was feeling like giving up. 
Because after you hit the wall so many times, it's just like, man, what what do I need to do? I mean, it's it's uh, I'm ready to quit, and I was almost ready to quit. I was almost ready to take out the newspaper, open up the newspaper, and check out the ads for a job, a job. I, I was going to trade my dream of traveling the world, being an author, being a speaker, uh, doing what I felt like I was designed to do. I was almost at the edge of giving it all up. And, and here's what I want to say to you. I, I want to say this to you. Don't quit. Don't give up. No matter where you're at at this point and stage of your life, I call it the KMF principle. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Come on, just tell yourself that. Keep moving forward. Just keep taking steps. And don't don't surrender. Don't, don't give in. There's going to be voices. And there was voices in my life. There were voices that were telling me, hey, why don't you just be like a regular person? Why don't you just go down and get a nine to five job and make make a nice little comfortable salary what why don't you just lower your standards a little bit you know be like everybody else yeah i'm like be what be poor be miserable be be depressed <laughs> you know hate their job like everybody else that yeah yeah that's what we're talking about <laughs> Yeah, 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 like me. Yeah, be like me. And, and, but I'm like, something inside of me said, so wait a minute, I, I was not designed to be part of the 90% of the people in the world who who are ordinary. I, I feel like I was supposed to be extraordinary. I feel like there's greatness inside of me. There's There's something inside of me that God wants to use to make a significant impact in the world. And I knew that inside, so that inner voice kept me going. That inner voice of God that said, yes, you can. You can do this. You got this. It really helped me. But I remember I remember when I was stuck and, and wanting to go to that next level myself, wanting, wanting to break through. Because, see, success in our life can some, sometimes sometimes get us in a fog success in our life can sometimes get us in a place where we get frustrated success can get us in a place in life where where we're bored it's like okay i've, I've already achieved this now what it's like what do i do now and yet inside you know you you still have big dreams but you're kind of bored you're not excited you're just kind of existing coasting along and that's where I was and I realized at that stage in my life that there was this internal war between you know having a big dream wanting to go to the next level and then on the other side there was this saying of why don't you just be normal why don't you just just be satisfied with what you got with where you are have you ever faced that <laughs> and, and I, I'm going to tell you, there's plenty of voices. There's plenty of voices in our culture that's going to tell you, be content with what you got. Be satisfied with where you are. Compare yourself across the street to your, your neighbors across the street. Compare yourself to your other family members and, and, and your buddies from high school. Com compare, compare yourself to them. And I almost gave in to those voices. But what I realized in that time of my life, when I had these big dreams but kind of felt like stuck in the present, and I almost compromised, I discovered one thing. I discovered that I lacked the confidence that was necessary to break me into the next level. Now, I want to explain that. I lacked the confidence necessary to go to the next bigger level. Now see, here's, here's where the deception lies, right? Is you have enough confidence to function and operate at the level that you're at today. 
Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you have been able to operate at the level of life that you're at with, with a great confidence. But you haven't been able to operate at that next level that you want to go to. Because that next level that you go to is going to demand more confidence than what you have right now. So in order to break through to that next level of that you want to get to, you've got to have more confidence to be able to sustain that next level. Or else here's what happens. You, you, you pop up and you get in that next level for a little bit and what happens? You don't have enough confidence to handle it. Life knocks you back down. So you're up, you're down. You're, you keep crossing the line between the level that you're in and you break just a little bit in the next level that you have, but you don't have what it takes. You don't have the confidence levels and you bounce back. So you're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you never really break through to the degree that you need to in your life. I, I know, I've been there. And so when I started to realize, wow, each new level I go to, I have to be intentional about building my confidence to new levels. See, that's why I started the Be Confident Challenge. Because I'm running into so many people where it's like life has punched you in the face. COVID punched you in the face. The death of someone's punched you in the face. A divorce has punched you in the face. A, a split up has punched you in the face. A disloyalty. Someone stabbed you in the back recently and, and twisted the knife round and round. Have you ever had that? Or, or dead is punching you in the face. There's, there's something in your life I guarantee you in the last year that's punched you in the face and it's affected, it's impacted your confidence levels, even where you're at at this level. So in order to get to that next level and break through into that next level, you got to start working on your confidence because you're not ready for the next. So in order to be ready for the next, you got to build a higher level of mental toughness to be able to handle that next level. Self-deception says I can handle it. I got this. I, you know, I'm Superman. No, no. No, no. I, I, I thought the same way until I realized, wait a minute, I've got to work on this. And I've noticed even in my own life that as I've continued to grow, that I've continued to expand, that I've as I've continued to succeed from one stage to the next stage to the next stage, that at every major move of my life, I had to get back to the basics. I had to get back to Keith. Keith, right now, you are facing fear. You're, you're uncertain. You're in self-doubt. And if you live in self-doubt, you're going to do without, Keith. And I had to get back and I said, wait a minute. I got I to gotta rework on my, on my confidence and build it back up. Now, when, when I started to realize that Confidence was basically the key to changing everything in my life. Did you get that? When I realized that confidence was the key to changing everything in my life, I knew I needed to get serious. Now, I listen, God changed my life, and my spirit was transformed and changed. But confidence is not about your spirituality. Confidence is more about your psychology, building the mental toughness it's going to take. And when I realized, wow, I, I got to start increasing my confidence. When I started realizing that, when I started building confidence on the inside, everything on the outside started changing really fast. My influence started changing. Uh, bigger doors started opening for me. Bigger relationships. My income for three years in a row as I started to build it. It doubled for three years straight. All my dreams that I had, you know, talk, we're talking about, do you have big dreams for the future? All the big dreams I had, they came to pass in my life. So when I discovered this, it was a game changer. And, and what I want to do is I want to help you. And that's why I set up this five day. It's called Be Confident Challenge. It's going to be five days every day at 12 o'clock to one. I'm going to come live and I'm just going to help you focus for five days. I'm going to bring my best 
confidence coaching strategy, concepts, principles, and tools to help you quickly make a shift, quickly make a shift in your confidence. We're getting reports back from the last one we had. Man, people's lives are being changed. I got one text that says, man, my, my, I fixed my income. I fixed my relationships. I'm, I'm getting all kinds of things that are happening from that last one. It's, it's, it's really wild. I will be posting some of those later. But this, this conference is for, this five days is for some of you who are watching. You're an entrepreneur. You, you're struggling right now. You own your own business, but you're struggling to grow and scale your business. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to teach you how confidence can help you scale and grow your business. There's some of you, you're, you're a lonely single out there, and you've been struggling. You're going to see a couple posts, and you're going to find out that confidence is actually sexy, that confidence is the thing that attracts better and higher quality relationships in your life. And when you don't, when you don't have confidence, guess what? You're going to, you're going to attract all the deadbeats. You're going to attract all the losers. You're going to attract the level of people that, that you don't really want. And that's going to keep hurting you. You're not going to attract high quality people like begets like, right? And then also there's some of you out there. You hate your job, man. I mean, you, <laughs> You, you don't like what you're doing, but you know you feel like, man, I'm supposed to be doing more. There's a lot of people that follow me. People say all the time, man, I want to do what you do. I want to travel. I want to speak. I want to, well, maybe, maybe some of you don't want to travel right now, but I, I want to build a, an information business. I, I want to write books. I want to develop training programs to sell online. I, I, I want to be an author. There's, I, I want to be a coach. I want to help coach people like you do. I really want to help people. See, you, you, you hate your job and you want to do these things, but you haven't launched your business yet. I'm going to help you be able to do that. And there's a lot of you out there that are struggling under the stress of, of lack of, of, of money. And I'm going to teach you how to get confidence to, to build financial freedom in your life. And finally, confidence is, is, is that thing that we need really to love ourselves. It's Confidence is all about having a positive self-esteem that you value yourself enough that you're going to take care of your body and some of you are overweight and you try to fix it with diets and and you know you buy these late night machines the exercise machines that, <laughs> that some models working on you think wow if i just buy that then i'll look like them oh no 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 so it it starts itself it starts losing weight starts i've seen it over and over again people who've gone my, through my confidence coaching training how they've shed a lot of weight simply by building their self-esteem by valuing themselves way more and when you value yourself more you take care of yourself so my job in the, this five days that I'm going to be having, I just want to tell all of you who watch Well Tribe on a regular basis, my job is, is to help you conquer the FUD wall. See, every single one of us, we, we, we build these walls. I call it FUD. Your fear, your uncertainty, and your doubt. Everything that we want in life is on the other side of that wall. That's right. If you want a better life, there's things on the other side of this wall called FUD that you want. The, you, you know, your, the growth of your business is on the other side. The, the spouse of your dreams is on the other side. The, the business that you want to build is on the other side. The, the financial freedom and wealth and money and millionaire status is on the other side. The, the house that you want, the cars that you want, <laughs> the, the happiness that you want, the 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 new skinny you the, or well fit you it, it's on the other side of this wall called fud your own fears your own uncertainty and self-doubt and what i'm gonna do is for five days i'm gonna build a confidence bulldozer inside of you i'm gonna create a bulldozer that you're just gonna plow through that wall of fear uncertainty and doubt smash that wall down so that you could obtain the things that you want in life the scripture tells us quite clear, do not cast away your confidence, which brings you a great reward. 
So listen, if you're if you're watching right now, go to beconfidentchallenge.com and sign up. You got two choices. Number one, you can you can sign up uh, and for free right now. Seats are limited there. Or you could take the VIP experience. It's a paid experience, but uh, you get the training plus you get time with me in question and answers. And we're going to have uh, personal coaching where we do personal coaching. Plus we have some other free gifts for you like uh, access to our Wealth Tribe training material where we raise up uh, kingdom millionaires. So you can go there, get signed up, lock into your seat, and we'll, I'll be looking forward to seeing you there. And, and also, those of you who are on Instagram, all you've got to do if you're watching, all you got to do is go up in my profile and you'll see Be Confident Challenge. I think it's the top link. Click on that link and bam, you'll be over to the site. Fill in your information, lock into your thing, and you'll get an email with all the details with the dates and all of that kind of stuff. It's coming up in April, the 12th through the 16th. The 12th through the 16th. It's gonna be phenomenal. I hope you come. But remember this, remember this, my friends. Don't be casual about your confidence or else you'll become a casualty in life. Hold on to your confidence. If you gotta hold on to it, what does that mean? There are forces trying to pry away your confidence, to get you to let go of it. Why? So you miss out on the rewards. Don't cast away your confidence because it will bring you a great reward. That's why I say confidence is sexy. You, you, when you're confident, you don't have to go chasing things. Things come to you. Opportunities come to you when you're sexy. <laughs>